We do not need to kill or destroy to win. We are a movement that builds and not destroys. If you win non-violently, then you have a double victory, you have not only won your fight, but you remain free. We're going to pray a lot and picket a lot. Non-violence has suffered its biggest defeat in the hands of people who most want to talk about it. We are certain God's will is that all men share in the good things this earth produces. The first principle of non-violent action is that of non-cooperation with everything humiliating. Kindness and compassion toward all living things is the mark of a civilized society. It takes a lot of punishment to be able to do anything to change the social order. Self-dedication is a spiritual experience. When any person suffers for someone in greater need, that person is a human. When you sacrifice, you force others to sacrifice. It's an extremely powerful weapon. The love for justice that is in us is not only the best part of our being but it is also the most true to our nature. Together, all things are possible. We must understand that the highest form of freedom carries with it the greatest measure of discipline. You, you cannot uneducate the person who has learned to read. Only when we have become non-violent towards all life will we have learned to live well with others. You cannot oppress the people who are not afraid anymore. We have seen the future and the future is ours. Once social change begins, it cannot be reversed.